Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue, and today I'm just going to be doing a, like a 3D exercise showing you how to do like 45 degree angles and rotating in 3D as well. So, um, to start off, I'm ju just in plan view, and I'm going to type the line command, and I'm going to come over 12 feet. And then I'm going to go into my front view, I have the view tab selected, and look at the same line in elevation. Now I'm going to come down, make sure that my polar tracking is turned on. Then I'm going to snap to the end of this line and then come up 45 degrees. Just make sure you're on this snap angle. And I'm going to come up another uh, 12 feet. And then I'm going to go over 12 feet. So it gives me a 3D construction line of my pipe route with the 45 degree angle in it. Now I can, if I want, I could check this from the top to make sure it's correct. And it is, you can see each piece here. So if I go back into my isometric view, um, let's say if I wanted to put a valve here along this 45 degree, um, I could do that. If I went back into my front view, and then put a line in here. Uh, let's say I'm going to put this valve about four feet from the from where the corner is. Erase this line here. Go into my southwest isometric view again. Go into MetQ. and put in a valve here. Select it from the center point. It's going to give me this warning, but that's fine. And when it asked me for the actuator, I'm just going to put it out here. Now when I look at this in uh, plan view, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see the way that it's placed. Uh, in other words, the actuator is pointing up. Well, let's say if I wanted that actuator to actually point to the right or this way. Well, there's a tool in MetQ that you could use to do that. So if you go to MetQ again for piping tools, it's called 3D Rotate, which is here. So if I select the entities that I want to rotate, and then the center of the pipe could be here, and then the opposite end would be here. This is the axis of rotation. Now the handle could be the actuator. So now we can kind of swing this actuator to let's say the right side. I can rotate it at a certain angle. Um, now the angle is going to be 90 degrees. And so that places it on the right side. So hopefully this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.